Research complete. I have performed an autopsy of the creature you killed in Gronberg's lab. One thing is certain, it is sentient, and it is not from our planet. Its anatomy, traits, DNA structure are unlike anything encountered on Earth. And their plasma guns, our weapons are in the Stone Age compared to theirs. Fragile constitution and weak muscles allow to assume that the aliens come from a world with low gravity, or they spend most of their lives in zero-G environments. Aliens do not use armor. Instead, they are protected by powerful deflection fields. However, when such a field is drained, killing them becomes much easier. One more thing. I have found a neural implant in the creature's brain, just like the one in Corporal Jenkins' head. This is very disturbing. Still, we don't have enough data to make any certain conclusions. I am relaying the mission data and the autopsy report to the Council. Lucy, you've done a great job. This HQ has everything expedition members need. A firing range, a briefing room, and I'm sure they will be toasting your name when they empty that minibar you installed. We can now send expeditions anywhere we want, but you still need to reinstall those cannons. Sure thing, of course. I'll have to disable the air conditioning and install scanners instead. I'm sure our people won't mind. Don't give me that angry raptor look, Veronica. I was kidding. I'll find a separate spot for those scanners. As we explore more areas, more resources will become available. But note that one Expedition HQ can only sustain one squad. If you want to launch two expeditions at the same time, you will have to build an additional Expedition HQ. Soldier healed. Who would have thought that a standard rescue mission will not only bring such a brilliant scientist as Gia Wagner to our team, but also take us to the big league? Just imagine the looks on the faces of our rivals when they learn we're working for the Earth's High Council. Unfortunately, everything in this world comes at a price. We have made a dangerous enemy who will no doubt use his every chance. We have made a dangerous enemy who will no doubt use every chance they have to get back at us for destroying their base. Beside the obvious threat, there's something else lurking in the shadows. Something unbelievable, but real nonetheless. Real and dangerous. The aliens we encountered in Professor Gronberg's lab. We don't know why they came to Earth, but whatever their purpose is, it is clear they are planning to harm humanity. However, all of it can wait until we deal with the task at hand. The High Council has entrusted us with protecting the world from mutant wildlife. Our first step was studying the creature called the Overseer. Commander, I have sent a report from our latest operation to the Council as you requested. The reply has just arrived. I'll transfer it to your personal terminal. Since you've already encountered them, there is no point denying it. We have long known about the existence of the aliens. Previously, their activities were clandestine. But recently, they became more active and are attracting more attention with the frequent UFO sightings and abductions. We suspect there is a direct connection between the aliens and the changes in Earth's biosphere and other troubles humanity has been facing in recent years. I assure you, the High Council is taking all the necessary measures. However, engaging the aliens in battle does not fall within the spectrum of your responsibilities. Concentrate on Dr. Wagner's project. This is your primary concern. The doctor will explain what kind of help she needs. I ask you to keep any information on the aliens strictly confidential. We don't need any noise about an invasion from outer space. End of transmission. 
So, our alien sensation isn't a sensation after all. Pity. Could have made a mint. Anyway, let's see how our boffins are doing. That one with the beard has finally come around. Ah, and here are our brave commanders. I'm glad to see you. Why such sullen faces? I take it the conversation with the Council didn't go quite as expected? Everything went just fine, Doc. Where is that bright mind of yours they call Gronberg? I've been told he was discharged from the infirmary. When will he begin work? Ah, you see, the Professor doesn't like human company. Solitude, a table for dissection, and a scalpel are all he needs. He says, my ideal company is my test subjects. They don't banter about their family problems and are always ready to make a meaningful contribution to science. He prefers dead animals to live humans? Interesting. So where is he? And would you care to explain what they are building at the far end of the science bay? While he was recovering in the infirmary, Professor asked us to set up a separate science bay for him with an automatic security system where only he is granted access. He gave us a substantial sum of money to do that, and our engineer Lucy gladly helped him. It looks like communication with aliens added paranoia to the list of his antisocial behaviors. Is he in that science bay now? Put us through. Are you that commander who saved me from an untimely demise? Good. Let's talk quickly so I can get back to work. I hope you are not holding this little intrusion against me. Professor, there's nothing to be afraid of here. Our base is quite literally a fortress. Extra precautions can't hurt. I'm sure the auto turrets and security doors won't prevent any great discoveries. Well, I've completely settled into my new place now and I'm ready to analyze the data you've collected from the Overseer. It's not easy with him sometimes, but believe me, he's a real genius. I very much hope so, because otherwise, he's just an narcissistic and arrogant old man.
He's near. I hear him.
Soldier healed. Soldier healed. The scanners we installed gathered enough data on the resources we need. We should send an expedition to collect them. You can equip an expedition at the Expedition HQ. Don't forget that for the mission to be successful, you must send experienced mercs equipped with quality gear.